Hey everybody, how's it going? We're gonna uh, we're gonna start this video off with a uh, picture slideshow video. I know those are kind of lame. Of uh, the CB setup that I used when I was on the road, uh, it was a really good setup, cheap and expensive. Unfortunately, it got stolen. Some crackhead broke into my work truck and stole it. But uh, we're gonna start the video off with that, and then we'll get back to the video I'm making. How's it going? Um, I thought I'd make a quick video about low budget CB radios. Uh, the reason I was thinking about this is the other night I overheard our receiving clerk talking to a driver. She asked him if he had a CB radio. He said, no, I can't afford one. And uh, that just got me thinking about what I used when I was out on the road. Uh, I'm a yard dog now. So uh, my stuff is basically the same in my personal vehicle now as it was when I was on the road. Um, I still talk to drivers out there. Um, I keep it on when I'm driving around. Um, if I hear a driver looking for some local information, I try to help them out the best I can. But uh, CBs are a good tool to have. Um, you can get weather updates, traffic updates, um, if there's an accident ahead or whatever, bear updates. Um, you can talk, communicate with shippers, receivers, um, which sometimes is necessary. I know they can be annoying sometimes. Uh, if you get towards big cities or whatever, you know, you get their guys with their noisemakers and talking several different foreign languages you can't understand and whispering about panties and all that annoying stuff. But uh, and I can see why drivers wouldn't carry one. But at the same time, it's a good tool to have. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to have it. Um, there are radios out there. Cobra makes them. Unidem makes them for about like 50, 60 bucks. Um, I have a Midland, which I'm going to show you in the next clip, that uh, you can get them for like 30 bucks, and they're a decent radio. Um, you can get a small uh, budget radio, and as long as you have a good antenna, you're good to go. Um, your system is only as good as the antenna you're using. You can go out and buy a $200, $300 radio and run a $9 antenna, and you, you'll you have crap reception and all that. So uh, I'm starting to ramble now. Um, I hope I covered all the points I wanted to make. But basically, you don't need to spend a lot of money um, on your CB setup. All you need is just something that you can talk to people with. Um, and a decent antenna, decent coax, and uh, yeah, so that's about all I have to say, I think. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hope you enjoy the next couple of clips. I'll just show you what I use, um, and that's all, yeah. So uh, you all have a good day, and happy trails. All right, what we have here is a Midland model, 1001Z uh, CB radio. Uh, it's pretty basic. Pretty simple radio, not a lot of bells and whistles. Uh, it just has a volume, a squelch, and an RF, which are both on the same knob. Um, they're compact. Um, I bought this for my personal vehicle. I bought two more of them for a couple friends of mine so we could use them out on the trails. I got three of them for like $60. Um, you can find these nowadays for about $30. Bucks. Uh, if you run one of these through a decent antenna, um, you should be good to go. Uh, I had a driver once tell me that... Uh, my radio sounded pretty good. He wanted to know what I was using. I told him I was using this little Midland. He told me I was full of crap. But uh, these are pretty good radios. They're good to uh, talk to shippers and receivers. Um, they're also good for finding out traffic info and weather info, um, you know, accidents and all that stuff you run into on the highway. So if you're looking for an inexpensive radio, I recommend this one here. Um, it's not going to break your wallet. And uh, if you run it with a decent antenna, um, it should do you pretty good. Um, I've done fine with it. Um, I've used it as a backup and I use it in my personal vehicle once in a while. Um, I've been using my Radio Shack one in here more now than this one um, just because I'm not using it and you know, I'm not out on the road anymore. So, uh, okay, I'm going to shut up because I can't talk and I'm rambling on. So, uh, that's it for this part of the video and uh, I'll show you my Radio Shack radio. Anybody got their ears on? Break one nine for a radio check, please. Yeah, it's working, radio check. Ah, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it, driver. Have a good day. Hang back at you. 
Sweet. All right, so what we have here is uh, the radio that I'm running in my uh, my personal truck right now uh, because I'm not out on the road driving, but if I was, I would have this in the truck with me. This is a Radio Shack TRC 443 CB radio. Uh, it was made in the mid-'90s in the Philippines, which I believe, if legend has it, was when Uniden was making CB radios for Radio Shack. Um, I know a lot of guys don't like Radio Shack CB radios. Um, I've never had a problem with any of them. Uh, I think they work pretty good. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, there are a lot of nice radios out there that are, you know, up there in price. Like, uh, I mean, Cobras are like 100, 130. But you know, you get like the Galaxies and uh, like the General E's. You know, you're, you know, it's, they get up there in price. All nice radios. Don't get me wrong. But uh, basically, if you don't have the money to spend, something like this is good. It's uh, bare bones. Um, good for communicating with uh, the shippers and receivers. Uh, good to find out information when you're out on the road. I usually have this on when I'm out driving. Um, where I live, we're between um, a Walmart DC and a Family Dollar DC. So we get a lot of drivers asking for uh, for directions to both DCs. I'm also, uh, where I live is about eh, just under a mile away from uh, I-90, the New York State Thruway. I'm between exits 31 and 32. But uh, let's see, we'll turn this on here. Oh, somebody's talking. Okay, so basically you got your meter over here, volume. Yeah, I can, but I don't think, you're, I don't think I can get up high enough you can get out of here, I don't think. I can try it. Squelch, RF gain, channel selection, an A&L A -N -L filter. I guess it's like a noise reduction type yeah, thing. Yeah, we're sneak up there a little further. I think we'd have a lot more room. Yeah, let's see if I can get them to talk. Break 1-9 for a radio check, please. Break one nine for a radio check, please. Break, break, break for a radio check. Okay, it works. Thank you very much, driver. Have a good day. Yep, sir. All right, nice driver right there. A lot of guys don't aren't that nice anymore. Holy cow, is this thing dirty? All right, this is uh, the antenna I used when I was out and about driving out on the highway. It's a Radio Shack five foot steel whip antenna. Uh, worked pretty good. I always got better reception with the single antenna. Um, I used a fire stick uh, antenna for a while, which is pretty good. Had one of those uh, Francis auto tuning ones as well. That was alright. The fire stick was better, but I uh, saw a lot of reviews about metal whip antennas. I wanted to get one, wanted to try one out, but I didn't want to spend the, the money to get one if I wasn't going to like it, you know. So I thought I'd get an inexpensive one to see how that worked. Uh, again, this is a Radio Shack. Um, I've never had a problem with Radio Shack um, stuff. I know a lot of guys don't like it. But uh, yeah, that's my uh, Radio Shack 5 foot steel whip antenna. I used to run this on the mirror. I used to face it forward so when the wind hit it, it would stand up straight. Uh, I ran it on the driver's side for a while, worked good. I got actually better reception and better SWRs with it on the passenger side, which I thought was kind of odd, but worked out pretty good there. So, but that's the antenna I've used. I use it in this truck, works pretty good. Um, I get really good SWRs with it. Um, with this truck here, I get like 131 and 151. In the work truck, I got like 111 all the way across, which was phenomenal. So uh, that's my antenna and that's part of the video.